what's up y'all uh i am not really feeling this pink lipstick but i'm about to talk to you about god so you know i already got a red shirt on honey i can't talk about god with red lips that's what i normally would have done and my shoulders out but anyway if you are ever in the need of some spiritual guidance some good gospel music maybe you need to like break down the bible verse you got a question the way somebody is acting in your world or anything we have a show in Sherland Underwood Radio, and it is called Spiritual Nourishment, and it is the best Bible study on radio. As I said, we play great gospel music, and each one of us gives the bishop, that's Bishop Eric Sloss, a Bible verse, and he breaks it down uh, in, in, in only the way that the Bishop Eric Sloss can do it, okay? So in case you missed mine from last week, this is my Bible verse that I gave the bishop to break down because we're going through some stuff right now with the coronavirus and quarantining y'all so listen to what the bishop told me oh. it's courtney black with the facts on sure Underwood radio and you are listening to spiritual nourishment the best bible study on radio as we go into weeks and weeks of this coronavirus and quarantining some people let fear seep in to their souls especially you know at first you were hearing people catch it that you don't know or very far off but now i mean the last few days it's been family and friends um celebrities are like you know rappers and people that uh that you think you know you feel like you know but i've had friends cousins their mothers like now they're knowing people because before it was like well i don't know anybody they saying it's spreading but i don't know anybody you know anybody nope i don't don't know anybody well this week i'm knowing people y'all i'm knowing people so i just want to bishop let's get some faith in god and send it out to the people i am um reading psalm chapter 91 verses 1 through 2 and i want you to break this down for me bishop he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust Bishop, can you break this down and, and let us know how this relates to how we get through this coronavirus? This is a great scripture, especially during these times. Psalms 91, verse 1 through 2. We hear this a lot now going on, but this is a psalm where it's talking about God as our protector. And if you read the whole Psalms 91, then you'll understand it even clearer. But let's concentrate on your verses, verse 1 and 2. It said that wherever you go, God is saying, I'm going to be your safety and I'm going to be your protection. And wherever you go, doesn't matter. As long as you abide in me, I'm your safety. You'll stay under my shadow and I'm, I'll protect you. I'll cover you. You can say to people that I am your defender. I'm the one who's going to stand up for you. I'm the one that's going to be a fortress for you. I'm going to be your protector, your your provider. I'm going to be the one who's going to be the refuge. And you can say you are my God and I trust in you. And God is saying, look, trust me that I'm going to be the protector, the defender, the fortress, the refuge for you. Because underneath me, I control everything is what God is saying here in this verse. And wherever you go, the Lord's safety goes with you and the Lord goes with you and you remain protected. No no matter what so no disease no virus no sickness shall come nigh thee if you keep on reading down you'll see that that's what the lord says in psalms 91 but he's saying i'm your safety the protection the defender the protector the refuge all you got to do is trust me as i trust in you don't go anywhere we've got a little bit more right after this you don't know what i've been through let me share my story with you All the things that he brought me through My stormy days and my rainy days Phone lines are open to you to shout out your church home, to ask for prayer, ask the bishop to contact you and pray with you and for you, or go to God on your behalf. The phone lines are open to you. one 855 What's that number, Courtney Black? One eight five five seven four three seven nine five one. That's why she has the facts. Also, you can email us and email us at uh, CherylUnderwoodRadio.com. Follow us on all of our social media at Underwood Radio Twitter, at Cheryl Underwood Radio Facebook and Instagram. Because we will be open the lines for all of our spiritual nourishment fans. Why? Because we're the best Bible study on radio. And so when we do that, we will let you know. And then if you miss any 
any part of spiritual nourishment uh get the world according to show the podcast of show Wood radio we have archive versions of show on Wood radio all the way back to 2013 we also have radio theater and uh we want you to hashtag be alone together as we fight this coronavirus it's spiritual nourishment. Jesus speaks about daily nourishment. It's today's topics, sports, entertainment, from a spiritual point of view. It's spiritual nourishment on Cheryl Underwood Radio. Spiritual nourishment.